Behind me is our Coachman Apex Nano in 208 BHS model, and it's about six months later, so after buying this trailer, what are my thoughts on it? We've done over 10 trips, we've rented it out, we've had some warranty work done, so as promised, we're gonna go through and show you what we love about this trailer, what we don't, some upgrades that we've done, and my thoughts on whether or not you should still be considering this guy. Let's check it out. We're diving right in and if you do find this video helpful and enjoy it, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and join the community. Okay guys, so here we are, we're back in the trailer and I wanted to give you my thoughts and impressions on this trailer after six months or so. It's actually been about seven months because we did have it in the dealership for some warranty work, which I strongly recommend that you do get everything that you think needs to be done, done in the first year of warranty. That's why they have it and they've been so, so good about it. My dealership is fantastic about doing the warranty work. Literally anything that I nitpicked about, they completely replaced. So if you don't know this trailer, check out my first video and I'm gonna go through and show you some of the stuff that went wrong, some of the stuff that we love about this thing. And also, of course, you know, whether or not you should really be considering this trailer. It's a lot of money, like all new trailers these days, but does this thing actually stack up? Okay, so what do we think about this thing after about six months of use? 10 plus trips, I've actually rented it out. We've gone hunting, we've gone camping in this thing off-road. Well, I think it's great. And for a family of about four, maybe two adults and two kids, it's just fantastic. It's just served us so well. The slide out is an absolute game changer. The quality for the most part of everything is really held up and you know, we, we use our stuff. So I'm happy to say that uh, it's treated us really well. It looks fantastic. Lots of people asking questions and looking about it. The, the layout is, is probably one of the best that you'll find and you'll see a lot of the companies copying this. And for the most part, I think the biggest difference here is the slide. That's the, an absolute game changer, especially when you got kids running around and stuff. So. My overall thoughts are good on this trailer still. We're still happy with our purchase. It is an expensive trailer. And uh, because of that, you know, there are some things that I wanted to address because of course, like any trailer, they're really not made that great. There are a moving house on wheels and things go wrong. So we had some stuff go wrong, some craftsmanship, issues they were corrected right away and because there's a warranty in the first year bumper to bumper it's really important you use the heck out of your trailer in the first year that's exactly what we've done like i said probably 10 12 trips off-road on road i've rented this thing out just to try and get as much use of it out as i can so that everything that's going to go wrong will go wrong we did buy an extended warranty as well but we wanted to be sure i wanted to just get this thing completely figured out and dialed in so that I'm pretty comfortable with it. And that's where we are. About six months down the road, I'm pretty comfortable. I know pretty much everything that I need to know about this trailer. There's not much that's gonna surprise me these days, but let's go around and show you some of the stuff that actually went wrong and that were replaced by the dealership under warranty. Okay, for, so for the overall quality and craftsmanship of this trailer, it's decent. It's not great and it's not the worst by any means. Now the first thing that we noticed when we got this thing home was some of the paneling did have some staples sticking out as though it was kind of rushed through in the factory. It was a few panels, this one mainly, and actually it did bow a little bit because it didn't really quite fit maybe because of expansion or contraction when it actually moved and got here. But they ended up replacing this completely and fixing up all those little staples. You can't even see them anymore. As well, there was a couple other ones replaced over there at the front and this one at the door here. So really happy with that. They had no issues doing that right away. And pretty much they walked through and ordered some stuff without even me asking. The countertop actually had a bit of water damage in the cutting board here, and they went ahead and replaced the entire thing. So that was kind of nice. We got all new countertops in there, which we could have got away with it. It was totally fine, but just props for them for doing that. One thing I noticed after a few trips, this tempered glass thing on my stove actually came flying off and it didn't break, luckily I found it on the ground, but this thing actually was came out from the screws. It wasn't really screwed in there and there was no Loctite or anything. So they went in underneath and actually installed that with some Loctite. So that thing's really not going anywhere, but make sure if you are going off road or something, you know, make sure that thing's really dialed in if you do have something like this, because you're bumping around, stuff is gonna fly off, it's gonna break, it's inevitable. But um, from the factory, 
I want it to last typically a little bit more than, you know, two trips. Next up, the dinette is a fantastic area. It's great quality seating where four adults can sit comfortably and the cushions are actually really nice. They're not some of those cheap ones that you really sink in and after 10 minutes, you're just, I gotta get out of here. No, they're really nice. It folds down into a bed in seconds, ample storage under both sections there. We've got some totes in there. And if you don't have good knees or you need to get in there for some reason, you can also access it from the top here, which is really nice. So as far as the eating area, no complaints there. It's been a really nice place to throw out the slide. Or if you are on the move, you can still get in here with the slide in no problem and have a quick lunch or whatever, and then move on. Next up, we'll talk about the bedding area. This is probably for me one of the most important things. And right away, we obviously didn't get the Murphy bed option. We opted for the full mattress, which we replaced immediately. And that is a total game changer. I love my sleep. So the mattress that comes with it, I don't really recommend. Sleep is precious to me. I want a great sleep if I'm driving for a long time. And so we went with our mattress, it's been great. But the first custom thing that I did, non-negotiable, was throw in a bed helper some hydraulic jacks to help us get into our storage, which there is a ton of here. We've got some totes here, tons again, insane amount of storage. This is not even including the pass-through front storage that I'll show you in a bit, but uh, tons of awesome area there that now the wife can get into without my help. Just throw that in there. That costs about 75 bucks. And again, all my upgrades, I'll throw a link down there in the description for you to check out if you're thinking about it, but highly recommend that that system with the strut mounts if you wanted to not break your back trying to lift this bed. But overall, yeah, like it. I kind of wish there was a curtain here sometimes, but there's not a heck of a lot of room, not a deal breaker. So what about the kitchen overall? I think it's really great. We haven't used the microwave a heck of a lot. We usually use a little barbecue that we bring or something like that. The heater there works fantastically. You're gonna heat this thing up in just a couple minutes. It works really, really well. It's quiet, it's efficient. The storage space and the counter space is, is decent and you can put this down if you want to have your coffee machine or something up there. That's what we do. And we throw it down when we're not using it. The obvious kind of weird elephant in the room is that there's no drawers for our cutlery. We got over that pretty quick. We went to the dollar store and bought a little cutlery rack or drawer thing there. And that stuff sticks in. So not a, not a huge deal breaker for me. And again, because of the efficiency and the layout of this thing, it, it hasn't been too too bad of, a, of, a, of an issue for me. I kind of like the kitchen. It's, it's small. You've got your built-in bottle opener there, of course. And we've got another one outside. But yeah, kitchen works for me. And of course, the fridge and the freezer are a fantastic size, like the full size ones that you see, just huge and keeps everything super cold. The freezer is a Dometic. This is whole thing is a Dometic and it, it cools it down really, really quickly. So happy with that. More storage up here. Of course, more storage up top there, which you keep your plates and all that jazz. So again, for the kitchen, looks pretty good. Over here for the bedding, I use it for storage a lot of the time, but we do have a little girl that sleeps down here. She absolutely loves it. It's really fun to play in and whatnot. Um, just be aware that if you do keep your kids in the bottom there, the little blinds down there may get a little bit ruffled, of course, because that's fun to play with too, but tons of room here with these double bunks and uh, we're loving it so far. Lots of room for tons of storage. You can fit your bike there. Like I said, you can flip that thing up. So two kids, I'd say max, it does have a weight capacity of about 200 pounds. So be aware of that, not really recommended for adults, but uh, you can get away with some small ones maybe. And uh, yeah, for the bedding area, looking pretty good. Uh, the bathroom, let's check that out. Pretty small, not much to say about it. Not a heck of a lot of storage. This thing is pretty much useless here. It's uh, just got the plumbing and whatnot under there. It's got your toilet. You've got your tanks and your readouts here. We have our towel holders. We've got our shower, which fits me when I'm six feet. So that's kind of nice. And we've got a little medicine cabinet there with a sink. Super basic, but does the job. Also for add-ons, one of the first things that I did was throw some command strip hooks up here. Command strip, command hooks, whatever they're called. Fantastic products, they're just great. They hold a couple jackets easily. They're not going anywhere. Totally recommended because without those, there's really nowhere to kind of throw your jackets and stuff unless you want to you know, hang them up in your little closet there and that's a bit inconvenient. So we come in, we throw them up, we don't think about it, costs a couple bucks, just do it. Now we did have a leak 
And this kind of bugged me. I was a little bit freaked out by this, but we had a leak that I noticed there was some condensation building up in the front window. And in turn, it actually discolored the blinds a little bit. And I was, uh, I was kind of freaked out, but we were out in the middle of nowhere in a snowstorm and minus 10 or whatever. And um, what happened was there was a seal, which I'll show you out here in the front. And apparently it was actually the LED strip that actually had a leak and something like this so they resealed it and they warrantied the window blinds and that was pretty much it so uh, as far as the leak go i feel really good about it because this is made not of wood but mainly of asdel which is a non-rotting material so you don't have to worry about this thing rotting and you're not seeing it behind the walls it's just aluminum and what they call asdel so check that out but the confidence that i feel for not having to worry about those things down the road and it's great for delamination as well is just fantastic so peace of mind keeps the weight down loving it so there you go we had a leak it was addressed really quickly but as far as any trailer goes always make sure that you check your seals at least a few times a year more if you're going off road and stuff because well that vibration and stuff does loosen off your caulking and stuff like that and you can get leaks but like i said luckily we really don't have to worry a heck of a lot about that Next up, let's look at our outside area. We've got our pass-through storage here, which is absolutely key. Huge space, it fits a full-size tote. And one of the first things that I did as well is add a light in there so that I can actually see what's going on. And over here, we have actually some USB ports as well as our light for our LED, the switch that goes on so we can have that kind of thing going on so we can look cool at the site or whatever. Again, nothing too crazy. It's not needed, but it's kind of cool to have. Uh, as far as storage, this thing gets an absolute A plus in terms of storage for the size. I really couldn't ask for more and what I can't fit in the trailer, I throw in the back of the truck. So let's have a look at the kitchen area because you're gonna spend most of your time outside. How is the kitchen? So it does have an outside kitchen. It's got your drink holder here. It's got a little pull out barbecue, which is fantastic. We actually haven't used it that much. Um, and it is a barbecue, it's not just a stove, but you can use it as a stove as well, which is kind of nice. It's a Coleman. It does come with the trailer in my case, um, but you might have to pick up your own. You might notice that there is a sink missing, and that is the one thing that I wish I had out here. There's an outside shower, but a sink would just be a little bit the next step up. And it's not needed, but it would be kind of neat. The fridge outside is fantastic. Keep your drinks cold. You don't have to go and wake the baby up or whatever, loving that. And over here, we've got outlets, we've got USB, we've got our 12 volt charging. So really not much more that I could ask for. Uh, for the layout, I think it's fantastic. And uh, loving this outdoor area. We've got our LED light strip. We've got our power awning, our speakers, which are not the best speakers in the world. If you crank them up out here, you can hear them pretty well inside. But um, yeah, overall for outside area, it's just worked really, really well. And again, no complaints. It's got some ground clearance, which is good, getting this thing up off the ground. And I did have some rust on our jacks down here um, after a few months use. So I told them and they replaced them all. So fantastic and super happy about that. That's, um, that's the outside of the trailer. Now, just a few last things that I wanted to mention, a couple upgrades that I did do. I went from a 12 volt single battery to two six volts because we do do camping and boondocking and it's a wild game changing difference. Two six volt batteries will last you literally three, four, five days if you are conservative. It's got the LED lights. It's, you know, everything that you really need. And on top of that, well, this package anyway has a hundred watt solar panel. So they're always nice and charged for me depending on your weather, of course, but really we've never really had it in a place or a time where we've run out of battery and uh, it's been an issue for us. So let's wrap it up after six or seven months. Do I recommend this trailer to you still? Yeah, I totally do. It's been fantastic for us despite having a few issues which are dealt with and I'm confident I've got another six months or so on the warranty. We're going to keep using it. We're going to keep renting it. We're going to keep having fun. It's been fantastic and I think it'll serve you well. Just make sure you're on top of it with the dealership. Make sure you go in and get them to check out every little thing in that first year and uh, let's leave it at that guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and it helped you out. If you did and you want to see more or if you have ideas on future videos, make sure you drop them down in the comments and hit that like and subscribe button and join the community. Anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching the video and we'll see you in the next one.